For a case of calf pain or claudication, using our mnemonic old cards, we'll note the onset. Or when did your calf pain start? Did it come on suddenly or was it more gradual? And do you remember what you were doing at the time? For the location, we'll ask our patient to point with one finger. For the duration, we want to know if your pain has been constant since it started or if it's occurring more intermittently. If that's the case, we like to note the frequency, that is, how long does an episode of your pain last and how many episodes have you been having per day or per week. Next, we'll want to note the progression. Does your pain appear to be occurring more frequently or more severely? Or if there has been no progression, we'll also want to state that in our patient note to show we've asked. To help characterize the pain, we like some descriptors, sharp, dull, cramping, or spasms, as we'll see below. And since it can involve the nerves, we'll ask about any numbness, tingling, or motor weakness, aggravating and alleviating factors, radiation, treatments tried, and severity on a scale of 1 to 10. And again, if there are no aggravating and alleviating factors or radiation, we'll also want to state that in our patient note to show we've asked. We'll break down our case of calf pain into primary calf causes, a vascular or neurogenic cause. For all cases, let's order a CBC, serum electrolytes, a D-dimer, and an ultrasound of the legs because we always want to rule out a clot. We'll further break down our primary cases as we do for any lower limb or extremity case into trauma or atraumatic causes. In a calf strain involving the muscle, the gastrocnemius, our supporting points include calf pain, an onset that's sudden after a fall, trauma, or exercise, and it will be progressively improving as the muscle is healing, and it can be alleviated by conservative management, ice, NSAIDs, or muscle relaxants. In cellulitis, we'll see a calf pain. In our vital signs, we can note a fever. In our inspection and palpation, we can note an erythema, warmth, or swelling. The cellulitis will be progressively expanding, and we can note a history of skin trauma, abrasion or cuts, and diabetes. We'll order a wound and blood cultures. In rhabdomyolysis, we'll see calf. It could also involve the thigh, so we could have thigh pain as well. The onset can be after a trauma and a crush injury or immobilization, or after exertion and exercise, or in non-trauma or non-exertion cases, for example, statin, heavy alcohol use, cocaine, or meth. It will be characterized as spasms and high yield. We'll see a dark urine in our view of symptoms for urinary changes. We'll add to our workup creatinine kinase and a urinalysis for urine myoglobin. In a popliteal or Baker cyst, we'll see calf pain or knee pain in the posterior. There will be a swelling or our patient can describe swelling and it will be aggravated by standing or any activity involving knee extension. In a deep vein thrombosis, we'll see calf pain We'll note again in our inspection on palpation, erythema, warmth, and swelling. We can note a pleuritic chest pain in our review of symptoms along with hemoptysis and dyspnea. There will be a history of immobilization, oral contraceptives, or obesity. And as we'll see in our physical exam coming up, a positive Hamann sign. And we'll add to our workup a PT and PTT as we do for any case that involves blood if we see hemoptysis and CT angiography for dyspnea. In a vascular cause, our differential will be peripheral vascular disease. We'll see calf or leg pain and it will be characterized as cramping and aggravated by walking the angina of the leg and alleviated by rest. In our review of symptoms, we'll note a chest pain, erectile dysfunction, peripheral neuropathy or hair loss, and we'll have a history of risk factors, smoking, hypertension, diabetes, or hyperlipidemia. We'll order an ankle brachial index and a lipid panel. And for a neurogenic cause, our differentials can include a lumbar disc herniation, for example, a lateral disc herniation causing foraminal symptoms, or lumbar spinal stenosis, for example, osteoarthritic bone spurs, a posterior disc herniation, or ligamentum flavum hypertrophy resulting in narrowing in the spinal canal and producing central lesions. We'll see calf or leg pain, and now low back pain. We can note either no nerve findings, a radiculopathy, or myelopathy, uni or bilateral radiating pain, numbness, tingling, and motor weakness. It can be aggravated by walking and alleviated by sitting forward. And depending on where the nerve is being occluded, we could either note lower motor neuron foramina symptoms or upper no motor neuron canal symptoms. Lower motor nerve symptoms can include delayed deep tendon reflexes and upper motor nerve symptoms can include hyperreflexia with urinary incontinence, and we could also note a positive shopping cart sign. We'll order an x-ray of the lumbar spine, MRI of the lumbar spine, and if we find any radiculopathy or myelopathy, a nerve conduction study, and an electromyogram. 
So today we're going to do an examination of the lower limbs, particularly the knee. Okay, we're going to follow the algorithm we have, G-I-P-R-O-M-M-R-S-P. That is gait inspection, palpation range of motion, muscle strength, sensations, reflexes, and pulses. So first of all, I'm going to take permission from the patient to examine his knee. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, looking at the knee, I'm going to look at both of them and compare them to each other. So both knees are non-distended in terms of uh, no signs of trauma, um, no abnormal colorations of both knee. They both look good. Okay, so you have very good looking knees, sir. Yeah. Yes. So um, the next step is palpation. You want to touch the knees and see how they feel, if the patient feels hurt. And I'm going to tell him, at any point you feel pain, please let me know, okay? So I'm going to start from above the patella and try to work my way around the patella. Okay, I'm also going to go behind the patella to feel if there's any pain anywhere. Do you feel any pain? A little bit on the medial side. On the medial side, okay. Sorry, I'm going to try to avoid that area, okay? Thank you. Any pain around the back? No. Okay, very good. So now that is done. And I'm going to do it on both sides. But just for the sake of illustration, I'm going to do it on just one side. But you should do it on both sides the same way. All right. So in that situation, I'm going to go into the range of motion. I want to see how well it, it moves. So could you please extend and try to kick my hand? OK, good. Could you try to kick my hand here? Good. Thank you very much. OK, um, you have good range of motion on the knee. Again, I'm going to do it on the other knee as well for the sake of your exam. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to do it on one knee. All right. So then next, we've done the range of motion. I'm going to do the MRSP, which is a muscle strength, reflexes, and uh, sensations and pulses. All right, Mr. Mr. Heskowitz, could you just lift? OK. Now, could you kick? Thank you very much. Could you pull? OK. And now I'm done with this area of the knee. He has five over five strength bilaterally on both sides. And then I'm going to look downwards, OK? And I'm going to have him, if he could show me a range of motion of his ankles, could you do this? As you mean this is your foot, could you do this for me? Could you do this? Could you go up? Could you come down? OK, thank you very much. And for this here, I know you've shown me, but could you show me again? Just take this up. Yeah, thank you. Take this. Thank you very much, sir. All right, so we've done the muscle strength for up, and now I'm, I want to go to his foot. So could you lift up? Thank you. Could you pop the brakes? Thank you very much. So I'm going to wash my hand again, OK? So at this point, I want to do the sensations. So, sir, I'm going to check your sensations. If you feel anything, let me know, OK? Could you close your eyes for me? Do you feel that? Yes. Do you feel that? Yes. Do you feel this? Yes. Do you feel this? Yes. OK, very good. Please, with your eyes closed as well, let me know if you feel this. And let me know how it feels like. Does it feel sharp or soft? Sharp. OK, and do you still feel it? Yes. What about on this side? Yes, sharp. And do you still feel it? Yes. OK, very good. And the reflexes, OK? Um, I'm going to have to grab this and get ready to use it. OK, so I'm going to check your reflexes, OK? So I just free this up for me. Thank you. OK, and then free this up for me. Good. Free this up for me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm also going to check your, it's called Babinski, OK, to check if your reflexes are OK down here. So Babinski is going to be done this way from the lateral side of the foot. OK, so you're looking for down going toes. Up going is going to be abnormal. We're going to check his uh, posterior tibial pulse. So we'll, it will be behind the medial malleoli. And we can go ahead and do one at a time. Or if you're a little more comfortable, you could do two at a time. Just comment that it's uh, two plus regular rate and rhythm. And while we're down here, we also want to check for calf tenderness if we were concerned about a PE. So we could squeeze his calves and ask him if he has any pain. 
Okay, and we're going to introduce the Hammond's maneuver. So it's when you ask them to dorsiflex, please. Please uh, raise up, uh, oh, raise up your toes, okay. and then we'll squeeze their calf, and we'll ask them if they have any pain. Please raise up your toes again, and then do you have any pain on your calf? Okay. And now once we're we're finished down there, it's always a good idea to hand sanitize again. So now we can move on to the. And so now please take a foam, some steps forward. And we know he's walking with a little bit forward flexion. And now come back. So we have a positive shopping cart sign. Okay. Thank you. Now you can have a seat again. And we'll finish with the special test. We want to do a straight leg raise. So if you could please lie down. Okay. So we'll start with the left lower extremity. And I'm going to raise your leg up. And please let me know if you have any pain, if you feel any shooting down. No. No? Okay, great. Yes. You I do? Feel, yeah, okay, and what do you like feel? It, I feel like it's going down this Shooting down. Okay, like so we have a positive straight leg raise test on the right hand side. I'll sit back up. And do you have any questions for me? 